A solemn milestone one year since the Hamas terror attack that killed more than 1,200 people in Israel. 251 others were also kidnapped, and since then, more than 40,000 Palestinians have been killed in the Israel Hamas war. That's according to the Gaza Health Ministry. And right now, more than 90 hostages remain in captivity, including four Americans. Alice Barr reports from Washington. Across Israel today, ceremonies mark one year of anguish, of hostages separated from their families. We're missing so much. Of Palestinians living through unbearable conditions, more than 40,000 dead, according to the Gaza Health Ministry, and 365 days after Hamas militants attacked inside Israel, killing 1,200 and kidnapping more than 200, the suffering is only growing. Israel now battling Hezbollah militants in Lebanon and vowing retaliation against Iranian missile strikes. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu not backing down. Israel has both the duty and the right to defend itself. That's despite growing criticism, including from the U.S., about the devastating toll on civilians and the fear of an all-out regional war. Vice President Kamala Harris on CBS 60 Minutes backing Israel's right to defend itself while stressing the need for a ceasefire. The need for humanitarian aid, the need for this war to end, the need for a deal to be done, which would release the hostages. But those negotiations are deadlocked, raising questions about the U.S.'s ability to influence Israeli policy. President Biden sharpening his rhetoric toward Prime Minister Netanyahu. No administration has helped Israel more than I have. None. 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 And I think uh, Bibi should remember that. Hostage families pleading for a breakthrough. I will not allow myself to lose my hope, because if I do, who will scream for Keith? The cries of millions growing more desperate, with no end in sight. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. And with war in the Middle East looming over the presidential race, both nominees will be commemorating today's anniversary. Vice President Kamala Harris is set to speak in Washington and plant a memorial tree, while former President Trump is due to address Jewish community leaders at an event at his golf course down in Miami.